All right, Sedge. So a couple Sundays ago, we did a, a video on Finding Center. Ding! Um, and we talked about uh, the, the Finding Center with the Center Scribe. Yeah. And then we talked briefly about uh, Bridge City and how they had one. And we're like, oh, I will never have those. Found a great deal on it. Really? Yeah. So did I. <laughs> it, was, it was literally the next day, wasn't it? Right. Yeah. Okay. So, what do you want to know? Um. Well, it's pretty awesome, but I just need some help figuring out what all it does. So let's uh, take our time and go through it. All right. In that video, Finding Center, I I, I kind of lamented that I always wanted a. Uh, center scribe from Bridge City. And when that deal came up, I said, okay, I'll just go ahead and get it. And I'm glad I did. <laughs> um, my buddy Bernhard had made me this. This is to die for. Oh God, every time I've used this, I thought of him, okay? And it's basically the same thing. It's got gears, okay? And I've used this hundreds and hundreds of times. It's made out of purple heart and uh, maple. But I want, uh, hopefully the camera's getting this. Yes, even though I lock it in, okay, there's still a little bit of play in there, mm -hmm. as well as there should be, okay, but the the situation, and I'm not trying to break this down too much, but you see that center part right there? There's too much play. Even if I lock it in, every once in a while, it would knock out. And I was always relegated to using a round pencil in here. Okay, so, I am so glad, I don't want to say I bit the bullet because I can't believe the price that was uh, being presented here. And what's really cool is when I was Kaizen foaming this, I took all my center finding pieces that I use for turning and or whatever. And uh, so let's go through this. I'm going to take this out so I have all the parts here. It comes with this great hex key. Don't lose it. Okay. <laughs> and it also comes with a round pencil. Okay, and I'm just going to move this away. You can take that out of the way. And we'll look at some of the basic points of it. Here's your here's your locking knob. Okay, and it comes in and out really nice. And this is so smooth, it's ridiculous. Okay, let's flip it over just to see a few of the basics. I'll flip it over. Okay, and you're going to see that you're going to see there's two notches in here. Guess what that's for finding? Center. Center on round stock. Oh, okay. Okay, you have a point here. Oh my God, this is so sharp and so accurate. And I'll describe that from the top in a minute. You also have a second one. So you can actually, as I look at this, have this here, but you could actually set the point here in the middle to create a scoring cut. Oh. So there's a lot to it. Now, the other thing I'm going to show you is this. Okay, this is where you can put a pencil in. I'm just going to bring this out. And you're going to see how there's a teardrop in here. Okay, so if I take this and I put a pencil, so say I don't want to use the scribe and I want to do layout with pencils, I can do that. I'll show you in a few minutes on a, on a piece of stock. Okay, but what else I like about this, and I'm just going to reach over here and grab a pencil that's not round and you're going to see how it's it, it's got it's a, a hexagonal how many uh, points on there two four six so six is yeah you got it right i got it right yeah oh my hexagonal, god hexagonal. octagonal is eight sides but I could take that look and it actually come right in and I could put a point there and lock the point and still get a center scribe. So there's a lot to this. I really like that, that it can work with two types of pencils round, but I'll always prefer round just like that. So first thing I'll show you that I've learned about this is this locks your scribe point in the center okay this knob but to adjust it or set the depth it's right with this uh, hex key right here so I'm gonna loosen it and let's set the scribe as I take that I'm gonna hold the knob and I'm going to take it and set it so it's just gonna scratch a quick center and I'm gonna lock it in and then, I know this is easy to understand, but this is self-centering, so I'm going to bring it right in. Just lock it like this. I'm going to take it over here so you can see it. And look how that scribes perfect center. Oh, wow. Okay, now I'm going to take it back just so you see how it is exactly perfect center. It's really nice. 
So, Sedge, what <laughs> Give size me that. Is that? What do you think it is? I want to say 1.5. I'll say tiny. 2, okay? Because <laughs> someone's going to ask, right? I'm just going to take it right over. Son of a gun. 1.5. <laughs> 1. 1. Good guess, Big D. Right. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... This is what I think it's for. I think it's a great idea. See how I have that? one scribe point right mm -hmm. here. Let's set a scoring cut, because sometimes you get some wacky fibers. Okay, feel that. And, oh, I'm, wow. and I'm gonna set it with that knob. Okay. okay, so let's see how that works. See how I haven't even changed any dimension there? Just went okay, right because it's right back to it. And you're gonna see, and oh, I know you can't see on film, but look at that one, and now look at that one. Wow. Okay, so that is a killer feature of the CS3. Huh. Okay, next, this is what I'm learning, and we'll learn together. I, I backed both of those scribe points out of the way. Let's set it up for the pencil. Okay. I just, I have left it set, so we're good. Go ahead and drop the pencil, and this is how I've always set these. Okay. Okay, take it like this, and then I'll lift it up a hair, so I have that markability there, okay? And let's, look how nice it is. Okay, and once again, I always double check to see if that pencil was centered, and it was. Beautiful. So you know how we scribe this big D? One of the things I like to show people is I like to just take a pencil to bring it into that scribe so you can actually see it. Nice. All right, Sedge, so lots of really cool stuff, top to bottom, front to back. But what the heck is this? Okay, so you're gonna see two different scales on there. Uh, one's in metric, oh thank hey. God, thank God. And one's in imperial. Okay, now, so say this is uh, 18, now let, hang on, let's take a quick measurement real quick. What's the thickness of this? Okay, we'll say 25 millimeter. So okay. let's divide that up. Uh, what's the rule of thumb of dividing up for a mortise or a tenon? Rule of three. Rule of three, third, third, and a third. So um, 25 divided by three, so let's go 24. So what do you come up with? Eight. Okay, seven. eight, eight millimeter. So what we wanna do is an eight millimeter mortise in the center. Oh wow. I don't wanna guess that. I don't wanna to have to do all that measuring. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen. See these two knobs right here? I'm gonna loosen them. Okay, and I'm gonna set on this line, I'm gonna bring it to eight millimeter and I'm gonna lock it in. And if my eyes are right, that's eight millimeter. So now I'm going to take it and center it like this, look, and lock it in. So check this out. I'm gonna take it here, see how I scribed it? Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna take it over here. What? And, uh, <laughs> it's exactly in the center, exactly where I want it. And uh, I'll just use this as a quick reference and we'll see how later on 50, look at that, that's perfectly eight millimeter huh. mortise. Isn't that cool? And then to get here, I'll just take my marking gauge to get my length of okay. mortise. Now the nice thing about a scribe is it gives you a place to put your chisel or what we call a knife line. We'll talk about that in the uh, future. Mark uh, Adams showed me this and how we'll be able to pair right to those lines. In other words, it gives you a nice place to place your chisel when you start to mortise. That's awesome. And you've already, what, cut the fibers. Yep. That is a killer feature on this CS3. All right, Sedge, so, so we know the notches are for finding the center on round stock, but how do you really do it? Okay, so this is how I've been messing around with it to do it. Okay, see I sent the, sent the scribe point right there. Mm -hmm. I make sure it's locked in. Okay, and I just take it like this. I kind of offset it. Let me open it up, make sure it's loose enough. And you're going to see how those, they come right in like this. Oh, wow. Okay, I'll lock it in. And then I'll take that point and just push it forward and I get perfect center. Nice. So one more thing to point out on this is, <clears throat> come in here Chris so we can see this, is it's uh, capacities. 
all the way to zero, but you could take this out and continue to point it out. Now people will say, oh, there's a little bit of wobble. Not when you lock it in, okay? And you're able to take this out and find center on seven and seven eighths. Wow. So it is very, very versatile. All right, so I think it's about time to wrap it up. Okay, uh, I just want to point out that we both purchased these. Uh, Bridge City Tool didn't send us these. We're not sponsored by them. I think a lot of times when people say, oh, these guys really like these tools and that they're given tools, no, we're not. Um, I, okay, so really quick, Big D, you now own one of these. You understand is it worth it? Every penny. I own something that was similar to this. It was made by a friend of mine early on. Uh, I've always wanted one of these. The price came out and I went, okay, I'm gonna get one. I love it. I think every, I've said every woodworker should always own a center scribe. It is worth every single penny. You see all the features in it, go out and get one. And as we wrap these always up, <laughs> be positive, stay sharp.